I never got my moment. I did not get my moment. Keep in mind, I wanted that. I wanted to be known for something else outside my fucking fame, man. I wanted to be known as Kevin Hart, the brick oven pizza guy, and the moment was gone. Had to find a new hobby. Search hard for a new hobby, too. I was road biking for a minute, getting miles in on the bike. I stopped, though. I stopped. The reason why I stopped, I didn't like the way my dick looked in the outfit. True story. True story. Looked like I had a clit. I didn't like it. Between that and the long balls, it was a bad combination. Shit just didn't look right. You know, when you stop at a light, you got to click out. <laughs> you got to snap out. It's like, hey, 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 what's up, man? Cars were slowing down. What the fuck you slowing down for, man? Get out of here. Stop looking. This lady slowed down. It was 7 a.m. I said, you better get the fuck out of here. I know what you want. Day Walker, get your ass out of here. Ain't no dicks out here for you, lady. Get out of here, Day Walker. Get out of here. I started boxing. Boxing became a hobby. The reason why I started boxing because I felt like it was something I could get better at every day. Every day I can get good. It's me against me. When it found a trainer, man, guy had amazing talent underneath his belt. Golden Glove fighters, Junior Olympics. Like, I mean, it was so much. Lightweight champions. I said, look, I know you're not working now, man, but I'll pay you good money to train me. He said, Kevin, if you take me on, I'll make you the best fighter there was. I said, well, that's too much. I don't want that. I just want to get good. He said, done. He became my trainer. Got to be honest with you. He was fucking good. Made me good. Told me shit I thought I would never hear. Compared me to boxers that I've never heard of, but it still was a compliment. <laughs> Told me I reminded him of a fighter named Lefty Lou Earl. He said, Kevin, do you know who that is? I said, no, I do not. He said, I'm going to bring you a tape. You got a VCR? No, no, I do not. <laughs> The thing that made me laugh, when I told him I didn't have a VCR, he was like, ah. <laughs> like, like I was in the wrong year. Can't believe you don't have a VCR, goddamn. Why do you still have a VCR, sir? Told me that I had one of the best jabs you've ever seen. Said, Kevin, your jab reminds me of lightning coming from your shoulders. Lightning coming from your fucking shoulders. He said, Kevin, you ever thought about fighting? I said, no. He said, what about sparring? I said, no, but I would. That's all I need to hear. Tomorrow, 6 a.m., I'm going to set you up. You need to see how good you are. 6 a.m., I come to the gym. You got a guy in there, my height, my build. Got my headgear, my cod piece, my mouthpiece. Puts it all on me, starts putting Vaseline all on my face and all on my headgear. I said, what's this for? He said, so the punches slide off. We, we never talked. Okay. Well, we didn't discuss that, but all right. Okay. All right. If that's what it's going to do, then that's what it's going to do. He gets done putting Vaseline on my face. He walks out the ring. I said, wait, you didn't do him yet. He said, he's okay. He don't need it. <laughs> huh. All right. That's weird. Okay. Whatever. I'm going to go with the flow. He said, guys, we're going to do three three-minute rounds. Nobody's here to hurt anybody. Let's have a good time. Keep it loose. He yells out, take it easy on him. I assume he's talking to me. Got to be talking to me. <laughs> I yell back, gotcha, coach. Put a confident laugh behind it. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> we get to our corners, the bell rings, ding. I come out. I just want him to see that I can fight. You can tell I can fucking fight by the way I hold my shoulders. Look how I'm moving. Hmm? My feet are spaced apart. Look at my fucking foot moving. Look how I'm fucking moving, bitch. This ain't going to be no cakewalk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see it? He flat-footed. Oh, he not even on the balls of his foot. I'm going to whoop his ass. <laughs> I'm getting more confidence as I move around. My coach says, Kevin, stop playing. Let your hands go. All right? Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> I hope he got the weather channel. Because this is about to be some lightning. <laughs> when you throw a jab, you take a step. Take a step. Let the jab go at the same time. Turn it over. What? Every time. What? What? That's how you throw it. I take my step. I'm about to turn it over. I'm right here. Here it is. About to turn that bitch over. You better brace yourself. Here it come. Ooh, it's coming. Right here. I'm right here. But I'm about to get here. Here I am. But I'm about to fucking get right there. You better brace yourself. I'm right here. Before I did that, he hit me. 
I, I immediately lost my vision, immediately. I went blind immediately. Couldn't see shit. Everything was fucking black. Ah! Ah! I read that you can get brain damage or you can die from a punch. I just lost my fucking vision. I, I don't have eyesight no more. I can't see. I panicked. I turned around. I've been known to do this move several times. I start punching backwards. I've talked about it in my past specials. I'm a backwards puncher when I panic. I fucking start punching. My trainer said, Kevin, throw the jab, throw the jab. I said, for what? Liar. It ain't lightning unless he's a storm tracker, okay? Because this is fucking ridiculous. I'm blind. I can't see shit. Ah! I'm blind. Ring the bell. Ring the fucking bell. The bell rings. I can't even get to the corner. I gotta follow his voice to the corner. Ah! As I get to the corner, my trainer, <laughs> he's like, what's wrong? I said, I'm blind, man. I can't fucking see. He just, he just lift my headgear up. <laughs> Apparently when he hit me, he knocked my headgear over my eyes. It was black, so I was just looking at the back of it the whole time. He was like, why didn't you lift it up? And I said, because we never went over that in practice. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. I think you put too much Vaseline on me. That's why I was sliding all over the place. Sliding all over the fucking place. Man, I don't want to do this no more. He said, you just gonna quit? I said, I don't call it quitting. I just want to do something else. He said, what do you want to tell him? I said, I'm never talking to him again in my fucking life. My lawyer gonna talk to him. He's going to jail, I bet you that. He's going to fucking jail after this. What he did to me tonight was assault. That's what the fuck this was. Assault at the highest level. I quit. Walked away from boxing that day. Walked away, never went back. Later on, I decided to look up some tape on Lefty Lou Earl. I went and found this guy. Because I wanted to know who he was. Who are you comparing me to? After that display of boxing that I gave, I wanted to see who the fuck was like me or who was I like. Turns out Lefty Lou Earl had one arm. <laughs> he was a handicapped fighter. He was one in 38. His one win came from disqualification. He got knocked out, they kicked him in the face. That's why they gave him the W. But he had a squeaky voice. So my trainer was talking about my voice all this fucking time. It had nothing to do with my fighting style. Just so happened to compare me to a handicapped fighter. I know I'm gonna get a lot of shit after this joke from fucking one-armed people. They said, gonna cancel me next. I don't fucking know. Good news is that Raleigh ain't gonna last long because they can't hold them signs for too long. <laughs> Cause they only got one arm. They don't get tired. They gotta put them arms down. I was so happy, man, after I sparred because that was the first sign that I was back to myself of old. I started sparring after my accident. You guys don't know, a year ago, got into a real bad car accident. Almost fucking died, man. Damn, they was paralyzed. A lot of bad shit happened. I was in the hospital for a minute. Thought about a lot. Because I thought about a lot, I'm now able to ask you things that I know that you haven't thought about. Question number one is, do you have an ass wiper in your life? Think about it. An ass wiper. Somebody that will wipe your ass if shit hit the fan for the rest of your life if need be. You don't think you need it till you fucking need it. See, after my surgery, I went eight days without going to the bathroom. I was constipated. They wouldn't let me leave the hospital until I went to the bathroom. They had to make sure your organs were working. Had somebody by my side every single day. On day nine, there was a 20-minute gap where I was by myself. During this 20-minute gap, it felt like somebody threw a stick of dynamite in my fucking stomach and that bitch exploded. Boom! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I gotta go. I gotta go to the fucking bathroom. Can't move my legs, I can't move my arms. There's nobody there. I start pressing the help button. Help! 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 Somebody gotta help! Jose came running in the room. Jose was a 60-year-old Mexican nurse. What's up, my friend? <laughs> Jose, I got to go to the bathroom, man. Now, I got to go, right now. Okay, man, I got you, man. I'll take care of you. I'll get you good, okay? Jose grabbed my legs, grabs my upper body, picks me up, sits me on the toilet that was right next to the bed. 
After he sits me on the toilet, Jose took two giant steps backwards, mm, mm, folded his arms, was looking me in the eye, rocking back and forth like this. Oh no. The fuck is happening, Jose? I gotta go, man. Why are you still here? I gotta go to the bathroom. Then it dawned on me, oh my God, Jose's gotta wipe my ass. Oh, this is rock bottom. This is it. This is rock fucking bottom. I'm here. It can't get worse than this. When I say that, Jose decides to say things that make me feel better. Don't worry, man. I'm going to wipe you good, okay? I'm going to wipe you good, okay, man? I got you. You in good hands with me. I'm going to wipe you good, okay, man? At this point, I'm fucking in disbelief. I just can't believe what's happening. I can't hold it. I just go. I start going. Jose decides to cheer me on. Good, good, good. <laughs> you got to get it out, man. You got to get it out, man. Eight days is a long time for anybody, man. I get done going. Jose grabs my right arm, rolls me over. Jose starts wiping my ass. At this point, a single tear rolls down my fucking cheek. <laughs> I'm crying. The reason why I'm crying it's because my, my arms are numb and my legs are numb. For the life of me, I couldn't figure out why God would leave feeling in the space of my ass. Why not numb that up too? Why let me feel what the fuck is happening at the lowest point of my life? Why feel Jose wiping my ass? Crying uncontrollably at this point. Jose decides to say something else. It's okay, man. This is crazy, man. I know. Imagine how I feel, man. 